and now made in Greater Binghamton. This week, News Channel 34 Steve Craig visits a factory where lack of specialization is keeping a workforce of more than 300 busy despite the recession. Since its founding in 1942, the sheltered workshop for the disabled has never been about making profits for shareholders. This nonprofit exists to provide meaningful work to people with a wide range of disabilities, which translates into an equally wide range of products. Some workers build electrical assemblies sold at home improvement stores. Others package colored paper and books that end up on the shelves at discount outlets. We're a subcontract manufacturer and we just want to be a good subcontractor, a low-cost alternative for anybody that needs work done, and we'll provide quality work, we'll do it on time, and we'll do it at, the, at a good cost. The operations that add the most value to finished products involve wire, adding connectors and terminals, and cutting it to size and bundling it into complicated cables and harnesses. If you ride subway cars, in New York City or Boston or New Jersey or Washington or California, our wire will be in there. Our electrical wire prepared for installation is in those cars. Anywhere from 12 miles in a New York City car to 20 miles in some of those New Jersey cars. Electrical assemblies built here also wind up in military and civilian airplanes, snowmobiles, blood analyzers, automated pharmacy dispensers, and easy pass toll booths. CEO Ron Trotsky says most of those industries are weathering the recession or even, in the case of mass transit cars, growing because of federal stimulus money. So the diversity is saving us right now because we're not in any one big time. And uh, I think that's the challenge. And it's great to work with the people, by the way. So that's why we're all here is uh, we're very proud of the people. In Binghamton, Steve Craig, News Channel 34. The labor of the sheltered workshops disabled employees creates an estimated $3 million of product value, and that is every year.